the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Yeah, I want to share something with you. Have you checked your food? Have you checked your fruits yesterday? What fruits are you bearing? What fruits I'm talking about? I'm talking about the fruits of the Spirit, meaning the Holy Spirit deposit in you and me the characteristics of the fruit of the Spirit. And when somebody said what a Christian looks like, it's not based on the paraphernalia, it's not based on what church we go to, it's not based on what we carry the Bible in our hands, it's not based on uh, any outward type of stuff around us. It's not a checkbox, right? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a way of life, it's a way of being. You, all of us, were made in the image of God. And until we fell, that's what happened. But Jesus Christ came, praise God, to reconnect us so that we can be back to the image that God wanted us to be. And guess what? It's not, like I said, it's not based on church, going to church. It's not based on carrying a Bible in your hand. Those things are what we do to grow in the things of God, to even help us cultivate our fruit. But what the image was supposed to portray are those characteristics of the fruits of the Spirit. Let me share what those characteristics are. This is in Galatians chapter 5, 22. For the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, which means patience, gentleness, goodness, Faith, which means faithfulness, meekness, temperance, which means self-control. Against such, there is no law. Now, I think a lot of cases, we, we really don't kind of cover that as much uh, in, our, in our ministry sessions. And I, I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about sometimes maybe it's the body great to hold. It's not reinforcing the fact that all of us are check our fruits. You know, if you go to most church services, you see a greeter there, and they train them. My mom tells she was an usher. They said they have to train people to make sure they smile all the time. And then even in the church service, you know, of course, some services, you get up and they say, shake your brother's hand to right or left, or sister's hand to right or left. Greet them with love. And you know, some of you enjoy church based on the fact that I felt welcome. I felt like I could be part of a family. Right? It's that, that you togetherness. Because a lot of cases, when we leave that service, then we go back into the world, and now we default back to the ways of the world and start being tough, rough, rude, whatever, just to try to make it because we think that's how we're supposed to be. But in reality, what we do, even at a church service, is what we do in our life. And we need to know that. And yes, it's not easy sitting there bearing the characteristics, but that is what we're called to conform to. And it's okay because technically, most of us want to be around people that bear these characteristics in our life. Right? So, look at this script right here. It says in Genesis. Genesis 1, verse 26 to 27. And God said, let us make man in our image. We're made in the image of God after our likeness. Come on, like God. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and every creepy thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Listen. It, uh, most people get stuck and say, right, image implies something there, right? What is it's, it's we gotta remember God is a spirit. And those who worship must worship in spirit and truth. So we get caught up sometimes in trying to think images based on our fleshly body, which is always dying. But see, God is an eternal being, and we are eternal beings too. And we have to be looking at the image of his spirit, not the image of, 
of, of, of our flesh. See, that's why you get people get hung up on colors and everything else because they look at the flesh. We're not made in the image of God by the flesh. We're made in the image of God by our character and by our nature. Look at the scripture right here. It's, it's interesting because Jesus is the one that we connected us to God. And if he, Jesus is the one who could reconnect us to God, then look at Romans 8, 29, which says, For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his what? Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified and whom he justified then he also glorified look we've been predestined to conform to the image of God to the image of the son because the son is the second the last Adam and therefore we conform to the image of the last Adam and look unlike Adam Jesus is alive you see what I'm saying because he's a spiritual being we are too. So we conform to the image, and therefore the image is not based on a physical uh, person, shape, but on characteristics. And that's why I should have you check your fruits today. Because you should check your image. Is it conforming? I'm not saying you have arrived, I'm not saying I have arrived, but we need to thrive, press toward conforming to the image of the fruits of the Spirit. So, let's try to remind ourselves daily, what fruit are you bearing? Or what kind of riches of fruit have you bared and I'll bear? And which ones do you need to work on? We all got to work on something, right? But I guarantee you, if we can remind ourselves, train ourselves to start bearing these characteristics, I guarantee you, you'll be somebody where people really want to be around. Most people that don't want to be around people who are depressed, angry, whatever. They rather have people who have these food. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to ask you daily. I want you to ask yourself daily what food are you bearing? Amen. All right, I hope you enjoy these segments. I'm going to try to do them daily, a reminder. And what I'm going to do is I'll make this recording. We just keep pushing it out. On a, on a daily basis, I remind you, check your fruit. If you don't have it right, get it right. How? Through the Holy Spirit, taking time to pray, taking time to study, taking time to fellowship with other believers, and watch the people you are dealing with, and watch the type of things that's coming to you while with your next All right? All right. I hope you enjoyed the videos. It'll be short and straight to the point. All right? All right. God bless, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.